Welcome back. Well, I uh, got one field that is ready to harvest. So I thought, you know what, instead of doing more grass work, which I do kind of need to do, I thought, you know what, let's just get the uh, let's just get things ready and start harvesting. I'm trying to figure out which would be the best way to get out of here. Probably, probably be this way. And we do need the straw for our um, for our cows. So, and uh, we got pigs on this farm as well. But I may, I may end up doing some pigs as well. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. So we have to go to field number three. Are we heading the right way? Yes, we are. Okay. Now. This may only be, I think, the second or the third episode, but I actually did record three episodes before this. Uh, but I don't know what happened. The, the video was, the audio was non-existent. And uh, a lot of other things just didn't really work out. So I thought, you know what, instead of just putting out a video, uh, two or three videos, because I probably could have cut them into three, two or three, uh, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do that. It just does not work the way it should work. So, am I going to... Yep. So, I thought, you know what? I'm not just going to... Uh, just going to do that. It, it just... It just didn't feel right. So just, you know, let's just put some garbage out there and just... So, I have a video. So, because of that, I decided that I'm just going to... Yeah just going to pretend that they never exist. And now we obviously did advance a little bit. Not a humongous amount, as you can see, we don't have a lot of money. Uh, we've uh, put our bales, uh, the grass bales that we cut in the first episode, I believe. They're in storage um, in the building and you'll see the storage as we go along. So I don't need to go and say, hey, this is where the storage is because you will definitely see the storage. So. Yeah, that's fairly self-explanatory where the storage will be. Uh, what else did we do? Oh, I bought a couple of a few cows and a few sheep, and there was only one purpose for buying them. Really, I, I wasn't really going to start buying cows and sheep so early. But the only reason that I did buy it is because I wanted to. Um, oh, we got a bit of a speed bump over there. I wanted to. Uh, see where the storage and all that sort of stuff is and other well since I since I already spent time and money well money it's not really that I spend money because yeah it's not really that big of a deal as far as the money is concerned but I thought so that, since I spent time to figure it all out I thought you know what let's just get it over and done with and actually um, and actually just keep them so yeah, so now we've got some cows and we've got some sheep. And uh, that's why we kind of need to get ready as far for grass and all that sort of stuff as well. So that's pretty much where we're at, really. Not, not, that, um, uh, not that advanced, as per se. The only thing that I have is I have a different track. I have a, a, I've added a different tractor. I suppose you didn't see me buy that. And I've got myself a truck. And you didn't see me a truck as in a ute or as the Americans call it a truck. You didn't see me buy that. So I suppose that is, oh, I like the retaining wall. That is the difference of uh, kind of where we are. Uh, as far as, you know, equipment and, and, and animals. Um, there is a little bit to learn on this map and there's a few couple of different features that are different and uh, nothing wrong with that, that's fantastic. Uh, it's good to have something different to, to do on the map.
Okay. I kind of didn't want to have one bulky, uh, you know, piece of um, straw just laying there. So yeah, that's where we are as far as this map is concerned. Uh, it's probably a bit hard to play this map as a uh, as a part-time map, if that makes sense. Realistically, I think this kind, of, this map, uh, with all the, you know, with its differences, uh, realistically should be should be your number one map when you're playing it, and it should be, you know, the map that you play versus the the map that you come to every now and then. But at the moment, the competition that I'm competing against Dagoin is probably uh, the prior. Not probably, it is the priority. Uh, and then I've got the uh, the American map and this map. So it's it's very hard. There's at least ten maps that I've seen that I would like to play, but uh, yeah, just time doesn't permit it. So. Uh, not much I can do about that. It is what it is, I suppose. Idea is that you get to see this map. You do have to buy this map. Um, again, I think I've said it in the first episode. It's not like you have to buy it and it's going to set you broke type of thing. You have to buy it. Um, the guy, that, the guy, um, and I always forget who the guy is that actually. Um, let's have a look if I. Oops. Okay, let's take the worker off because I definitely don't want him to do that. The the guy that, that designed the map and it, does it have his name on the map here somewhere? I think it has his name. Okay, no. Okay, that's the one. And Modo Italian map designer incorporated with S Buffo Farming. So they they did I think they did it really well. Uh, they didn't, you know, say hey you have to buy 10, 15, 20. Uh, euros for the map. They, it's just simply donations, minimum one euro. So, uh, yeah, there's no, there's no need to, uh, yeah, to say that. Oh, I can't afford to buy this map. That's not even close to that kind of a scenario. Um, I've got a water truck which I don't really need. I don't need you. Okay, this is our tractor over here. Oh, we got a, a Manitou, and the reason, and with the auto load. Um, with the auto load um, attachments, and we got some ducks. Um, I got ducks. Oh, they do give eggs. I wanted to see if they give eggs, so they do. So we'll uh, we'll get a couple more animals as we go. So we'll get uh, what do we all have? Female ducks. Select. So we'll get another seven. Right, then I'll get a couple of chickens, select, and I'll get a rooster, select, but definitely not seven. One will do. So now we got a collection of ducks, really nice looking ducks, and the chickens. And while I'm here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I, I like the way he's done that. Oh, we got some wool for the ship. That is where your bales get stored, up there. And um, you have to put them through here, I'm assuming this particular one. But as far as the cows are concerned, as far as the cows are concerned, you've got a slightly better loading. Let's go there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's where you feed the cows and that's where the cows are. Um, as far as loading them is concerned, it's right up. There, which is fantastic. It, it forces you, whether you like it or not, to use as my males. It forces you to use um, the telehandler. That, that's the best way to make someone utilize some equipment that normally people like myself completely ignore it. Is to put the. Let's have a look at this since we're here. To put the bales, if you want to use this. Yep, I like that. We will have to obviously wait for the combine to come here and then we will unload the combine. Yeah, so um, there, there's quite a bit to discover. Oh, I know that as far as uh, this road, I think it leads to maps uh, to farm C. 
if memory serves me right. Okay, that's not going to show it. So you got A, you got B. Okay, so that's the BGA. Okay, where's map C? You know what, if we do it like this, so we own all that. There's C right here. Ah, oh, you're kidding. I honestly thought he might make it all the way here. Now, I hate having to do this, but hey, we've got no choice. At least crop destruction is not on. Now, I, uh, you know, it's good that I got wheat here because I do need wheat for my chickens. So that's the beauty of the. I like this truck because it's got a very high capacity. Oh, oh I like that. Cool. Pretty cool. So we'll let this guy completely get unloaded, and I'll show you. Um, I'll show you where you feed the chickens. Again, it's so nicely done. And I spent. Uh, I. Well, uh, if you would have seen the other episodes, you would have seen that I spent about a hundred thousand dollars. I think it's about hundred and fifty thousand dollars of my money, not realizing what I was doing. And I bought some mineral feed for, into these particular things over here, which kind of was a bit silly. I don't. Oh, there we are. So we can. It was a bit silly because I don't really need that much mineral feed, but I. Oh, look at that, look at that. So there's my mineral feed all the way through. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I just noticed that. That That is beautiful. Yeah, it looks like we've got something over there that's already filled up. So the animation on this map is great. It, it truly is great. So I, what I'll do is I'll put you right here. But I won't put you probably put it like that because I do want to why are you sitting over here and where are you sitting over here I I'm trying to figure out why this guy is over here was I going to the shop and I forgot to turn is that what I was doing I don't know there you are Okay, so we'll go on the right way, which is this way. I'm hoping that it's not going to take me back to my shop. No. No, that's the way we're going to the shop. So probably, because I bought from the shop, I got myself the uh, ground tester. Uh, since we are playing with, uh, playing with precision farming, I thought we might as well have it. And uh, obviously, completely forgot to do, to actually go pick it up. And probably what I was doing before, uh, before I ended the, the recording, because I, I realized that it was not recording properly. So I don't know. I, I, I can't figure this out. I've got a very, I've got a, not very expensive, but not cheap. Like uh, I think mean, they're like four hundred some dollars a microphone. So I don't have like a twenty dollar microphone or anything like that. But I still seem to get uh, quite a lot of issues um, with uh, with my audio, which is strange. Got the Blue Yeti. So again, not a cheapy mic by any stretch of imagination. Uh, okay, it may not be the absolute best should have gone that way and I'm going the wrong way but that's okay it may not be the absolute best and the absolute peak of microphones but still you know I, I honestly did not um, did not expect that I'm gonna have so many issues with uh, you know a microphone I don't know if I would have spent 60 70 dollars buying some cheap stuff from from the net but that's not the case but anyway 
uh, we live and learn. What else can I say? We live and learn. That's that's the best that I can say as far as uh, as far as anything is concerned. Really, there's not much I can do about it. There's something I can fill up over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm looking at the fuel station, and I'm running into things. Not very clever. I like the way it's done the road and you know fairly complex it makes you feel like you are really driving in, in Europe somewhere anyway we'll get back to um, get back to our our farm uh, there is the grass field that I need to test and uh, find out what my uh, uh, we need to go in there as well there's, there's so many places that we need to sort of uh, wander around and have a quick look around. I haven't looked at the map at all. Uh, I just simply started the game. Only what I saw Dagoin on, I think, uh, uh, not Dagoin, uh, Peanut. Peanut and Farmer Klein. They're, they're the two that I saw that kind of were saying this, uh, this map is a fantastic map. So that's when I decided to, hey, let's have a quick look at it. Got a lot of really steep, really steep areas. And I love the way our farm is right in the middle of town. You know, like we're not talking. Uh, oh, I bought this, even this is too big. Okay, it's B to take a sample, right? The problem with this is that I've got a funny feeling. Oh, that's not going to work. Am I really already at the end of my field? That's the quickest sampling I've ever seen. Hey, not even close. I need to get f quite a bit further. Here I am thinking, oh, it's done. It's not done. Now it will be done. Yeah, I think we'll go and do all our fields might as well since we're here doing this uh, we might as well just get a lot of our fields done this is what the purpose of this tractor will be uh, actually you know what I'm not gonna do that let's just send it away and we'll put you away and as we get you know the the fields that are done and all that sort of stuff, we'll deal with them later. Actually, I could probably, actually, uh, I own this field over here. And uh, let's get it to the end, hey? it like this and I'm not gonna do the one that's a, oh I don't know it's got a it's got a fence around it I realized that I have to go and empty the the combine and I'm gonna do that in a minute okay so we're gonna go oh, whoa 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 we own this field as well. We own this field as well. So we'll just wait till we go about there. Okay, and we'll stick to to get closer to the edge there. Okay, and we'll go up here. 
I don't own the other field, do I? No, I don't. But we'll, we'll have no choice but to do it like this. Okay, what's my other field that I own? Three. Okay, well that's the field that we are currently working in, so we're not going to bother with that one. Alright, let's get to the truck and we go and empty my combine, because just sitting around, I'm paying the worker to sit around and do nothing. And then we'll... Oh no, he's still working. I think it's the message was that he was 80%, not that he was completely, completely done. But now he's. Okay. Let's go fill them up. Uh, fill them up. Empty them. Empty the combine, not fill them up. And then we'll worry about the rest. Getting all my fields, getting all my fields uh, ready to go, as far as precision farming is concerned. Getting all our fields uh, tested, and we'll find out what kind of soil we have. And that way, when we fertilize it, when we put lime, we're not just throwing lime and fertilize it for no reason. I didn't even really pay attention to see if my uh, results came back for the first field, but I suppose. Yes, there they are. pH is not, oh, nitrogen is, oh, oh. Nitrogen is really bad. I was going to say it's not too bad, but it is. Okay, let's get into this guy over here. We don't want to just be testing the road, do we? So I think we need to be over here somewhere. Okay. Okay, I think I can be a little bit higher by the looks of it. I need to be a bit more backwards. Okay. And we'll go straight up here. And we'll go and get this other bit over here. Oh, sadly, we're going to be overlapping quite a bit because otherwise we're going to miss that corner. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so now we should have results coming in on our entire farm. $500 and that should be our results. I'll check them in a minute. Okay, we have, oh, probably could have gone that way, but anyway, we won't worry about that. This is the beauty of my farm. Do I own this field? Is this field tested? No, I didn't test field number nine. So all my, okay, pH is not too bad. So what do I have? Sandy loam and loam, really, most of it. Okay, let's deal with field number five since we are here, and field number nine. Since we've not really dealt with it at all.
Okay, let's get it over and done with. And this is the beauty of having this that has a far higher capacity than uh, the ones that you know you get in game or with the re not in game with the original uh, with the original uh, soil testing, which is a lot smaller. Like, yeah, I probably have to do you know five or six or seven runs on these particular smaller fields. The big fields, forget it. I wouldn't even. Looks like I've got a field number one over there that also needs to be part of this. And I may also be able to get it. There you are, all in one. Beautiful. Send it, done, boom. You know, I might come and transform this. Actually, I may put some... I wonder if I have like a decent sheep enclosure that I can just put there. But it just kind of... The only... If there is a complaint about this map is that... Is that the animal capacities are too small. Um, that is the only complaint that I could sort of say. Because you really want to have more than 20, I think, sheep capacity and 40 cow. Um, I think you do need more than that. Uh, well, let's have a look what the combine is doing. Okay, there we are. We're going to have a lot of baling to do so. I may get a square baler for this one here. Anyway, I think the episode's getting long enough. We'll continue. I'll continue. Uh, Fertilizing there, fertilizing, oh my goodness. Harvesting this field, and uh, when we're done, I'll uh, either store it or give the wheat to the chickens. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time when we're baling time and planting. So, have a wonderful day for everyone around the world. God bless you and your family. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.